Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. My name is Oscar Sinclair. Uh, today is Monday, April 20th, 2020. Um, and I am currently uh, pre-recording this uh, last Friday uh, as I am on study leave right now, uh, working on what the rest of the church year will look like. Study leave is also a time for meditation. And so I wanted to take a moment uh, to just read some meditations from a, a meditation manual um, that has been on my shelf since before I started seminary. This is With or Without Candlelight, written by Victoria Safford. And her preface to the book lays out the purpose of a meditation manual. The word manual, she writes, originally meant a small volume that could be easily held in the hands. Though the term now carries a utilitarian agenda, especially in this age of complicated gadgets, each sold with pages on pages of how-tos, disclaimers, and warranties, still it bears that simpler, more intimate meaning. A manual fits in your hand, and perhaps calls to mind the hands of the person who wrote it. A meditation manual is held easily in our hands and in our hearts. It is like a quiet bridge between pondering souls. Meditation is a mostly private exercise, yet with this volume we are companioned in our prayers and pondering by generous friends and wise comrades, prompted perhaps by images we might not otherwise have glimpsed, observations we might not have made, conclusions we might not have drawn. In this company, meditation becomes a kind of conversation with the authors themselves, with our own hearts, and with the holy. The writers gathered here come from many walks of life. Some are ministers, some are mothers and fathers. They are teachers, artists, and activists, sharing gifts of startling beauty and personal truth in poetry, prose, and prayers. Celebrations of the spirit, lamentations of the heart, elegant observation of the natural world and eyewitness accounts of the moral universe. These poems and compact essays offer wisdom and laughter, comfort and deepening questions. In their various voices, the authors remind us that meditation may take as its subject almost anything under the sun, embracing the ordinary as well as the sacred, pain as well as beauty, deep meaning and mystery as well as downright childlike joy, and all of this in its many ways, formal and accidental, practiced and wild. We may meditate within the church and far beyond its walls, both with and without candlelight. One by one, these diverse companions place their hands in ours, their hearts in ours, and urge us to keep them open. Amen. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>